Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 22. See the question says, what will be the pressure of a gaseous mixture when 0.5 liter of hydrogen at 0.8 bar pressure and 2 liter of oxygen at 0.7 bar pressure is introduced in the vessel 1 liter. So I have 1 liter vessel. I am introducing, let's suppose now, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 liter of hydrogen. Okay. So if you see, there is a change in volume at 0.8 bar. If there is a change in volume, there will be change in pressure. Similarly, again, I'll introduce 2 liter of O2 at uh, 0.7 bar. So since again point uh, 0.2 liter becomes 1 liter, the change in volume, so the change, change in pressure. So if I have to find the total pressure of this vessel, once you add oxygen and hydrogen, the total pressure will be pressure of hydrogen plus pressure of oxygen. And this is a new pressure, right, because the volume changed. Understand this, see this was 0.5 liter, it became 1 liter. This was 2 liter, it became 1 liter, uh, sorry, it was 2 liter, it became 1 liter. So in both the cases of hydrogen and oxygen, there was a change in volume, so the pressure changed. So the 0 0.8 and 0 0.7 is not the pressure we are looking for, we are looking for the change pressure. Correct. So we will take the case of hydrogen now. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2 because other things are same. My temperature is constant. And so in the pressure of the hydrogen earlier was 0 0.8 bar. The volume was 0.5 liter. What is the new pressure? We have to find P of H2. What is the new volume? 1 liter. Right? 1 liter. So if we solve this, get P of hydrogen as nothing but 0.4 bar. Similarly for oxygen, it's the same formula P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. Earlier the pressure was 0.7 bar. Volume was 2 liter. Now the new pressure is something you have to find and the new volume is 1 liter. Correct? 1 liter jar. 1 liter. There is 2 liter. This is 0.5 liter. So the new pressure will be 1.4 bar. So the total pressure is you add both this pressure. Right? So pressure total will be 0.4 bar plus 1.4 bar. That is nothing but 1.8 bar. And that is my answer. Correct? This is my total pressure. The next question says density of gas is found to be 5.46 gram per dm cube at 27 degrees Celsius at this bar pressure. What will be the density at STP? So the pretty straightforward question. We have the formula density is equal to MP by RT. Okay. So in this case, if you see, M will be same. P is varying, T is varying, R is same. Correct? So if my density is this, I can say that D1 by D2 will be what? MP1 RT1 by MP2 RT2. And that is nothing but P1 T2 by P2 T1. Correct? Just, just the same amount. So in that case, if I write the formula of D2, D2 will be nothing but D1 into P1 T2, P2 T1. So here my case 1 is the case given and case 2 is my STP. And case 1 is uh, my 27 degrees Celsius bar pressure. So let's put the value. My density 1 was what? 5.46 gram per dm cube. Pressure 1 was what? Pressure 1 is 20, uh, 2 bar.
d2 is what let me see just check d2 will be this will be p2 t1 by p1 t2 correct so if you see i'm taking on d2 it will be d1 into p2 t1 p2 t1 so p2 is what standard measure pressure 1 bar 1 atm actually so i'll just assume it to 1 i'll treat as 1 bar normal approximately equal to 1 atmospheric pressure that's for the ease in calculation because this is given in bar t1 is what 27 degrees celsius that is 300 kelvin right 27 degrees celsius 300 kelvin because 27 degrees celsius is nothing but 27 plus 273 kelvin that is 300 kelvin by my p1 p1 is my 2 bar and t2 t2 is 273 kelvin bar bar cancel kelvin kelvin cancel so if you solve this you get 3 gram per dm that will be the new density correct so here note that i have took i took uh, stp is one bar at least is not one bar it's one atm that is equal to 0.9 bar or something but just for the ease of calculation i took as one bar so pretty easy question 34.05 milliliter of phosphorus that is volume is given weights this much gram that is my mass is given at this temperature the rest temperature is given at this pressure pressure is given what is the molar mass so i know pv is equal to nrt this is my formula but since i am looking for mass and molar mass i'll just replace n with mass by molar mass into rt what i am looking for is the molar mass this value so this value is nothing but mrt by pv let's put all the values what is the value of m 0 0.0625 gram r r will be 0 0.083 t 546 degrees celsius plus 273 add becomes 9 819 kelvin P pressure here is a watt bar, 0.1 bar, and uh, V V is in uh, where is V V is in milliliters, so making liter, so it becomes 3.05 into 10 to the power minus 3. Please note the value of point uh, R I took as 0 0.083 because of the units involved here. Right, because the pressure is in bar so I took 0 0.083 and this was in the gram so if you solve this you get 1247.5 gram per so in these questions please make sure that you use the correct value of R and for this in the video in the tutorial I have explained I took one slide where I had all the values of R depending on the different units of pressure and volume. So for this unit, because this pressure is in uh, bar and the volume was in uh, liter, I used this unit. A student forgot to add reaction mixture to the round bottom flask at 27 degrees Celsius. Instead, so he or she realized, uh, placed the flask on the flame. After a lapse of time, he realized his mistake and using the pyrometer, he found the temperature of the flask was 477 degrees Celsius. What fraction of air would have expelled out? See, in a chemistry lab, so there was a vessel here, one guy was heating the water in this, right? So at 27 degrees Celsius, he was supposed to add reactive mixture. But instead of 27 degrees Celsius, he forgot. And at 477 degrees Celsius, he found, uh, he realized his mistake. He wanted to know at by that time how much water vapor has 
और हाउ मच वाटर आर एक्सपेल दैट मीन्स हाउ मच वाटर आर इज कन्वर्ट टू वाटर पेपर वी कैन फाइंड दिस वी हैव द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ मॉलिकुल सेम राइट सो दैट मीन्स वी कैन फाइंड द वॉल्यूम दिस वाटर और वाटर पेपर शुड ऑक्यूपाई एट ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड वी कैन फाइंड द वॉल्यूम दैट दिस वाटर ऑक्यूपाइज एट दिस फोर सेवेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड विल कंपेयर फर्स्ट लेट्स कंपेयर दिस फोर सेवेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस टू बी वॉट एट टू सेवेंटी थ्री डिग्री इट विल बिकम सेवन फिफ्टी कैलविन एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस विल बिकम एट टू सेवेंटी थ्री इट बिकम्स जीरो थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन so since everything is constant pressure is constant only volume and temperature is varying so we use the formula v1 t1 is equal to v2 t2 right so v1 by t1 was my temperature earlier was 300 kelvin and the new temperature is my 750 kelvin so if you solve this you get v2 as 2.5 times of v1 that means the water expanded 2.5 times earlier it was let's suppose v it becomes 2.5 times of v correct but my flask so it is like this this was my water molecule it was v earlier this became 2.5 times of v and like told this this is v and this is my water but this much volume of vapor or whatever is already in the flask and this much volume went out Let me draw in this fashion. This was my V volume. It has some water. You heat this. This became two point five V. So one point five V went out, and V is already there because my volume of the flask is V, so it will hold V volume of gas, or uh, yeah, and but the another one point five volume of gas went out. Hope you understand this. See, I am saying that at this temperature, seven hundred Kelvin, the volume of the water has to be two point five times so. The early one. That means V is already there. One point five times went out, right? One point five V went out. So percentage of air went out is what? One point five V by total volume was two point five V because I am measuring this at seven fifty Kelvin. So this is nothing but three by five. Hope you understand. This. See, my volume of water was V at three hundred Kelvin. I heated this to seven fifty Kelvin. This the whole become two point five V. Out of 2.5 V, V is already in the flask. 1.5 V went out, right? So I'm asking how much percentage went out. So if you see at at 750, I'm observing at 750 Kelvin. I'm observing observing this whole data at 750 Kelvin. I'm observing this at 750. This is my eye actually. I'm observing the 750 Kelvin, and I see that V is in the container. 1.5 V went out. So 1.5 V went out out of 2.5 V. That means 3 by 5 went out. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.